This thug of a guard frog wasn't an easy kill, but it was a sweet one. The chef's hat. Reggie must be close.
The chef's hat. Reggie must be close. The chef's hat. Reggie must be close.
The chef's hat. Reggie must be close. His brother's chef, beaten, chained, and left as bait. The Bog Brothers, stinking like the place they called home, had done this. Their leader, Glanzalut, had never been bested in battle. He had a lance as lethal as it was legend, but he also had the only key.
Their leader, Lan Zalut, had never been bested in battle. He had a lance as lethal as it was legend, but he also had the only Their leader, Lan Zalut, had never been bested in battle. He had a lance as lethal as it was legend, but he also had the only key.
Bog Brothers' clan were finally destroyed. Reggie knew they would not be the last. The Bog Brothers were dead, and their stench would soon wash away. His brother could go home safe, and the young king would too, after making sure the roads were clear of frog scum.
Reggie would need more than a sword on the road now, the ranger told him. He offered the king his best bow, a gift from his guild. Ranger's best bow was little more than rotten twig and frayed string, but Reggie was grateful that he hadn't been offered the other one. The elder had started placing quests on the village notice board. Getting the old rat to part with some coin was no bad idea, considering the funds needed to rebuild the Crimson Fort. The grub infestation had spread. The farm basement was overrun. The farmer should be able to squeeze bug juice in peace. The farmer had fled his grub-infested basement in terror. He was sure they would destroy his bug-juicing machine before long. Reggie assured the farmer he would not let that happen. Grubs were gone. The farmer could now make the best freshly squeezed bug juice in all raptum. Reggie liked it with bits.
With the path to Longtail Village free of frogs, the builders could start repairs on the Crimson Fort's bridge. With the paths left unguarded, grubs have crawled to the surface. The builders couldn't work while they're there. The builders could start their repairs in safety. The Crimson Fort would soon be able to welcome visitors again. His brother's chef was glad to be home, but the smith was still missing. The chef believed he might have also been captured. Maybe the elder knew where. The village had already started repairs. It would soon be as if the frogs had never come. The guard captain, who had recovered, had spread word of the king's rescue of the elders. To show their gratitude, the villagers would help rebuild the rat fort. Not so lucky this time. The elder hadn't seen the frogs with the smith. But maybe the ever-vigilant rangers had seen where the frogs had gone. Young Robin had been headed to the ranger's lodge. Maybe Reggie could ask there.
Rotting corpses always bring pests. If the grubs get beyond the farm, they'd be everywhere soon. His royal ancestors had lifted rats from such places. No rat had dwelt here for years.
The ranger needed help. Reggie hoped it... last the fight. The ranger needed help. Reggie hoped his bow would last the fight. The ranger needed help. Reggie hoped his bow would last the fight. The Head Ranger saw the smith taken to the tower by the foul Swamp Slayer clan. 
but the frogs had barricaded the path. Only a heavy two-handed axe would shatter it. Nothing like the feel of an axe smashing through tough wood. Reggie wondered if it would do the same to frog shields. And frog skulls. Ranger was excited to help the king. An unforgettable tale to tell his children one day. The smith's hammer. He would never have dropped it willingly. Reggie was grateful for his help. He needed to get to his brother as fast as possible. Would he find him still alive in the tower?
The smith was alive, but the key to his freedom was held by Blocky Magoo, merciless leader of the Swamp Slayers. He squatted atop the tower, croaking orders to his clan. The village would soon be a ruin, and the frog spawn would feast on the dead.